So Atlantic Farms is having a sale going on where you could get one of their 1904 Portuguese contract Mauser rifles, including a bayonet and a case of 8mm ammo. These are 945 rounds. And they're doing all that for $8.99, so I figured, especially with the ammo, that would be a good deal to jump on. So I ordered one of these. I wasn't sure what I was going to get, but I'm pretty happy with what I got. Only took about a week to arrive. Arrived in pretty good condition, packed well, so definitely no complaints there. And these rifles were supplied to Portugal from Germany. They were produced in Germany yeah, on a contract to the Portuguese military. And these are actually 1904-39 conversions. So originally they were in 6.5 millimeter, and then... Around 1939, they converted these to 8mm Mauser. So go ahead and take a closer look and see what I got. Starting with the butt. Looks like it's a good shape, just typical handling marks and storage marks. It's got a pretty good layer of grease on it. You can see it's kind of gotten in the wood a little bit. The true guard looks like it's in good shape. You can see how the serial number is just a J9, which is interesting. I assume that means it's a pretty early production. It does have what looks like a modified British sling. It has the similar brass fitting there, but it looks like it was sewn to have basically an adjustment here. I'd be curious to see if there's any stamps on it. it. did come with a bayonet. You can see it's covered in cosmoline. As I clean that off, be curious if there's any stamps or anything on it. Moving down the rifle, see what's interesting is it has two separate springs here. One for the front sling swivel and then one here. And they do have some pretty meaty sight protectors here. It's good turn over. Look at the other side, butt looks pretty good too. And you can see here that's the manufacturer mark. It's a 1904, originally 6.5 millimeter, and it was made at DWM in Berlin. See the rear sight there? It's graduated out to 2,000 meters. And there's the other side there. You'll see it has the Portuguese crown here on top of the receiver here. And the bolt does match the rifle. I mean, so far it looks like it's all matching. All the serialized parts are a 9 or a J9. So again, when I take it apart, I'll see if any of these parts don't match. But so far it looks like it's all matching. Now the bolt is pretty smooth, despite it being kind of covered in grease. See, there's the follower there. Looks like another matching part. Now this also came with a massive case of Greek 8mm. You can see that it's all 1939 dated ammunition. This is corrosive, but looks like it was stored pretty well. It's all brass case. Cases don't look like they have any corrosion or anything on it. So other than it being corrosive and requiring a lot of cleaning, pretty hopeful that it's good ammunition. I'll take it to the range and see how it goes. It does come in individual 15 round boxes, so it's pretty easy to use at the range. So I'm pretty happy with what I got there as far as ammunition. The board definitely looks pretty good. Looks like it wasn't used much, and if it was, it was well maintained. They definitely cleaned it out every time they used it. Take a closer look at the bayonet here. Looks like there's some kind of marking there, but I'll be able to see it more when I clean it. There is a little bit of rust here. Looks like where the grip is. 
So the bayonet looks like it's a little rougher shape than the rifle, but should clean it well. So I'll be taking this apart, cleaning it out, putting it all back together and taking it to the range. So if you'd like to see that video, feel free to subscribe and sign up for alerts. I definitely recommend getting one of these so far from Atlantic Firearms for what they're offering them for with the ammunition deal. If you can get that, definitely worth it. I look forward to cleaning this up, taking it out to the range. If you have any questions about this rifle, feel free to drop them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.